You should come up with a lot of variations. So you got those three notes, right? You can play it straight. You can play it with vibrato at the end. Different kinds of vibrato. Well, yesterday with like the laying the vibrato. sit here all day and come up with thousands of combinations of things to do with those three notes. Thousands. Okay? So the goal isn't to sit here and play those three notes. The same way all the time. Okay? They're not here to perfect that. Right. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. You can also change your notes, right? Band the B like you did. So we're gonna come. The B is already pre-bent. Mm -hmm. We're gonna release that, and as soon, at the exact moment that the string is just about to be totally at rest mm -hmm. and perfectly in tune B, mm -hmm. that's when we move off and go to this A sharp note, mm -hmm. note below, and come up to the B. So. All right. So it's gonna be like this, right? It's gonna be. I mean, you, you can really think of that as an ornament of one note, right? It's yeah. really just all a B here. It kind of sounds like three notes, but it's really not three notes. It's really one, just one big thing. Now, th that's cool, mm -hmm. but if you want to do the vibrato thing at the uh -huh. end on the B, mm -hmm. then that has to start seamlessly when the A sharp note is bent perfectly in tune to B. You can't bend it to B and then move to the B and do vibrato. I mean, you can, but it's mm -hmm. not as cool. When you do the vibrato mm -hmm. on the B, when you're doing the C, you switch from the A sharp being bent to B to the it, um, Can you bend with one finger? Good, but you have to get to the B before the A sharp is. I mean, just at the exact moment when your ear would perceive the A sharp as being perfectly in tune with the B, that's when the B has to happen here. If it happens any millisecond later, it's not cool anymore. Yeah, good. You just gotta calm down the vibrato. Yeah, good, but you're you're bending. The, you're, what you're doing now is. You're, this is not in tune because the string is still bent. Okay. Really sharp. So when this comes down, this finger has to release the string so it's not that straight. That's better. Let's slow down the, that vibrato okay. a little bit. Stop. 
Now look at your B string. Okay. Take your hand off. Look at the B okay. string. Okay. The string is already bent. Got it. It should be down here because what we're hearing is the note here. We're hearing an out of tune B instead of an in tune B. Got it. So when that B comes, that string must be down here. And the vibrato must be released back down to the B every single time, or otherwise it's out of tune and then it's not cool. Right? Yeah, so slow down, but it's too fast, right? Let's try something else. Okay. Let's establish the B as being perfectly in tune first. Listen to that, and then let's apply the vibrato. So okay. that your ear is perfectly certain that the B is intact in tune. Okay. Yeah. Okay, do it again. Yes, you're still bending. Stop. Ah, move. Sorry. <laughs> it was slightly bent. Look, look here. Okay. You were, you were like this. Okay. And it causes the B to be slightly out of tune. We don't want that. Okay. That's better, but now, but I know there's a lot of stuff to think about. Yeah, That's better, yeah. but now we have a timing issue because. Oh, let me stop. Get in position. We don't want that. Right? So this will take time. You're not going to yeah. be able to solve this immediately right now. I mean, right. nobody would in this situation. So. That could be really cool. Yeah. You just add a basically one note. Yeah. Okay. Brazing. All right. Red bottle. Cool. All right.